Good afternoon, Waldenwood students. I hope you have finished your postcard artworks. When you are finished, please take a picture of your work and upload the postcard assignment in my Google Classroom. Today, we will introduce our new project, Mindful Poses. You will learn how to draw portraits and how to recreate famous portraits. What is a portrait? It is a picture of a person. A portrait can be of yourself, which would be a self-portrait, or of someone else. So let's discuss our next art project, Strike a Pose. When I think of Strike a Pose, I often think of a Madonna song from the 1990s. You may have heard the line before from the song, Vogue. And she says, Strike a Pose. Maybe not, because that was a long time ago. Well, that is kind of what we were talking about, in a way. We will be striking a pose. Alright, so let's get right into mindful posing and what we will be doing. Can you think of any famous portraits? How did the artist paint the person? What were they wearing? What were they doing? Were they sitting? Could you tell anything by that picture? Do you think they were uncomfortable in that picture? We are going to learn how to draw people. Use basic shapes for the face. Use straight lines for the arms and legs and use ovals for the body. We're gonna do this in just a moment right now. Let's do this step by step also. So step by step. On my paper, I'm going to circle the face. And draw a stick for the body. A stick for the arm. It almost looks like a balloon, doesn't it? But I'm gonna draw legs. Just sticks. I bet all of us in kindergarten can do this. draw some circles for the hands just step by step and draw the mouth from the side nose remember we want to get all those facial features in there Add another line for the body. And there we go, I think. All of us can do something like that. So let's see what you do. So we are going to go ahead and practice drawing a stick figure drawing for our first portrait right now. The first thing we're going to do is draw a circle like a balloon for the body. And I'm going to go ahead and trace it over a little bit just so you can see that circle a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and draw a line for the body. Now you might want to go ahead and make this body an oval 
or a rectangle by drawing another line there. And the last part we're going to do is to fill in the face. Just because if we, we make a, the face first, we might make a mistake. So I'm going to go ahead and draw eyes, ears, nose, mouth. I'm going to go ahead and put hair in the picture, eyebrows. and just all of the facial features that we could put in this picture. So let's go ahead and finish practice drawing it now. Remember the face should be a circle. Make sure you draw a nose, eyes, eyebrows, ears, and a mouth. You should also have hair, a chin, and a neck. Your body should be in proportion. I know that we are just learning how to draw, but our arms should be just the right size. They shouldn't be tiny. They shouldn't be gigantic either. Your head should be just right for your body. Now if you are done with your portrait, take a picture of it and attach it to the PowerPoint in this slide. So if you've finished this part, you've uploaded your picture, you've put it onto your PowerPoint. At this point, you can go ahead and go to the second video for our meeting today and then after you finish that video and you finish the PowerPoint please mark attended all right get ready for the second video